What, what was it about this project that, that drew you guys to it? Well, they drew me to it, and the, the story drew me to it, and the style in which they make the film was new for me and exciting to try. And yeah, it had a, a, a little bit of a heaviness to it, but I, I was kind of scared and attracted to that part of it too. Yeah, I mean, it was just the fact that they wanted me was probably the number one reason. <laughs> I usually like to go where people want me. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, Alex and I had made this movie called Blue Jay together a couple of years ago that was kind of similar in that it was a two-hander and really simple and not very heavily plotted and, and, and semi-improvised. And, and we wanted to do it again. And, and when we talked about this story, I think the key for us was, you know, showing real platonic male intimacy um, as we wanted to see it on, on screen, which is less about, oh my God, it's what a joke it is to see males being intimate together in a platonic way, but more the true, the true sweetness and uniqueness of it. And I think the characters we play are they're kind of outliers. They're kind of those guys you see on the street who are a little shifty and have a hard time making eye contact. And, and um, they don't find a lot of people to connect with in the world. And I think, you know, seeing them come together, that real moment, like almost, almost like in romantic comedies they do, where it's like, oh, I found you. And then, you know, uh, to have that threatened to be taken away um, when my character gets, you know, diagnosed with an illness was like really exciting to us. It's something we felt it could be sweet, it could be funny, and then, you know, ultimately kind of affecting if we got it right. There's no model really for, for friendships for older men like that. Yeah. For the platonic end. And then the other thing for me, do you remember when we did the Blue Jay premiere, I snuck out, saw another movie, I came back, I told you I was really disturbed by it because there was a lot of death. Mm -hmm. And you looked at me like, well, that's the next thing you got to do. That's the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. What well, movie was that? Uh, With a lot of death in it. It was um, Girl on a Train. She oh. stabs yeah, a dude yeah, yeah, in the yeah, throat. Yeah. Yeah. You, weren't, you weren't ready for that. Was, yeah. But when you make a movie with death, you cast Ray Romano, and then wait. it gets funny, and it's good. <laughs> wait. What? Oh, I thought, you, I thought that was your blanket statement. Yeah, yeah. Like, you make a movie with death, you cast Ray Romano. Yeah. I thought there was a period there. Yeah. Oh, Just a on. semicolon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We have a long-standing relationship with Netflix. They bought our, our first feature film, The Puffy Chair, back in 2005 when they were a tiny company called Red Envelope Entertainment and they were still mailing DVDs and all that stuff. And um, so we have a trust with them and, and that's great. But, you know, I think that as an independent filmmaker, my perspective is it's a little tough out there um, and um, it's competitive. You know, we all have 500 movies and TV shows that we want to watch right now. And when you're making a movie like Paddleton, you know, which is, it's, it's, it's from the heart and it's a small movie. And um, Netflix offers us a chance to bring that into almost 200 countries and like 140 million subscribers or something insane like that. And, they, and they'll promote it for us. And there aren't a lot of places right now where you can do that. Um, so I, I, there's a little bit of a, um, it's a little bit of a Robin Hooding going on with Netflix, where it's like they're this massive company and, and they can afford to spend money pushing a little movie like this, and that's really cool. I started out studying acting in college, and then stand-up came along. But I always, I always wanted to, to test myself, and, and, and you know, there's a uh, sad soul in here, you know, underneath the clown. And if there's a way to express that, I, I was willing to try it. And, and I, I didn't want to not do comedy, but I wanted to, to do single camera. The, you know, the, the excitement of a, of a live audience, I had that for nine years with Raymond. And, and then when I experimented with a few single camera things, it was a whole new thing, but it was, it was so different from the sitcom, you know? It was internal. You could you you could act internally, and and it would uh, uh, translate on camera. But um, if people were willing to give me a chance, I was willing to take it. And you know, it's still scary for me. It's still scary. This was scary. This was this whole process was scary, and then and the subject matter and everything was scary. But I do want to scare myself. That's why I'm doing this right here. <laughs>